Hello and a very warm welcome to the channel. So what I just wanted to do today was just do a very short video tutorial on where to save your co company route, co-route, so that you can go ahead and import that into the Flight Factor 777 version 2. Now I want to draw your attention here to where the manual for this aircraft is stored. So under your aircraft folder, go into docs and the manual itself tells you everything you want to know about the EFB, about if you've got a honeycomb, how to cover that, there's lots of information in there. Um, another great manual to go ahead and browse is the systems one, which tells you all about the systems. It's a great introduction onto the systems of the 777. So to show you then where you go ahead and save your co-route, this is in beta 24. The manual tells you the locations that the aircraft will look into on page 14. So there's actually three locations. The one I use is the second one down, which is the X-Plane Root folder, Output, and then FMS Plans. Now, today we're just gonna do a very short hop in the 777. I'm not gonna cover that in this video, um, but for interest, the flight number there, it's Saudi um, 1122. We're going from Jeddah over to Daman. So I've already generated that. And then when we go click here on Download, it tells us that it's saved it into that folder there. I've just um, that I've just mentioned so if you're getting a not found when you go ahead and type in the file name just first off check in here make sure that you've got the the file saved where you expect it to be um, but using that approach works for me so that is the second folder name where the aircraft will look I don't bother saving it with in the first one because I don't use FLP format I hope that's been useful for you I really just wanted to highlight that and just give you a working example here as you can see it on the screen just keep it simple um, there's no need to lose your heads over this stuff it is a really straightforward process and this is your bit of b-roll in order to do this look right that's all your b-roll done and just to show you this, what we've covered in a previous video. So go to external services, uh, make sure that your SimBrief username is populated and is correct. And then go ahead and just choose get data from SimBrief. And you'll see the confirmation there on the left hand side. It will show you the flight number there. And then just go into briefing. And what you'll see it's done is it's just put your SimBrief flight plan into various sections. So for example, if you wanted just to have a quick look at the weights and just see uh, what you're carrying today and what's um, comprising your zero fuel weight, that's under that section. And this bit I'd really um, highlight as well to you. Go into Navlog and then as you're in flight, you can actually just uh, record in here what the plan said you might have at that point. So it's a really good uh, way to keep track on things and the most important thing of course is your fuel just make sure that you're using very much similar to the to the plan you don't want to be um, certainly running short as you approach the airport but I've spoke about that before hope this has been useful for you and uh, do like subscribe and uh, I will see you on another video take care bye bye